back with the podcast. So we got to make this one a little quick this week because we don't have much time. Bro is flying to Colorado. Yeah. It's and um, so we missed last week, but we just w- we wanted to talk about something. We're trying to change it up every week, you know? Mm-hmm. So we wanted to talk about the playoff hunt. But before that, we wanted to each talk about two players and specifically injuries. One getting injured or, and one coming off the IR or okay. just coming off being injured. All right, so for go, going out of the AIR, obviously Joe Burrow a couple weeks ago, we weren't up. Unfortunately, we weren't able to get a podcast out last week, but got it covered this week. His injury, just really terrible to hear about. He had the one in uh, training camp. This is unrelated for him. So I think it was his knee in training camp, and this is something with his wrist, right? Um, so it's just really unfortunate because the Bengals, we both had them as our uh, Super Bowl pick. So it's it's upsetting. Uh, they're such a great team to watch, and now that you know his contract's kicking in, and they're gonna have to start paying people. It was kind of like their window to like maximize stuff. Not to say that they won't be good and they won't be in the Super Bowl bowl in the upcoming years, because I still think they will. I mean, they're be. gonna lose T. They're gonna lose but Tyler Boyd. This is this is gonna hurt them. Yeah. So because this was like a really that's, good that's window. Anti. So. We'll see. I mean, that's something that we can do, talk about during the off season. Okay. But there you go. Joe Burrow, really sad to hear that. Yeah, okay. So my injured person was Jonathan Taylor. Mm-hmm. So he just got injured this week. I think he broke his thumb. He's out for two or three weeks. I was just thinking about it because it's kind of concerning that he's injured again. Yep. I mean, I get that it's his thumb. And that's not really like something that's – like if it was, if it was his um, – what was he out with? I don't think it was knee. It I don't know. Ankle. But ankle. If it was his ankle again, then I would be more worried. But still, it's not very... Why do you think Joe, uh, Jim Irsay didn't want to pay him at the start of the year and there was the whole holdout with his contract? Yeah. It's because of the injuries, man. I don't know, man. He's just not reliable. So I, if Zach Moss pops pops off in the next coming weeks, we could maybe see the, the Colts kind of go back on his contract a little bit. Because I don't see... This contract being worth forty two million dollars, if you John, JT's gonna play in like what four games, get injured, play in another four, get injured. I mean, he got when did he get out for the season last week? Last year was it like week? Uh, 10, I don't know, eleven, something like that. It was towards the middle of the season. Yeah, and then I think. out for the season, back this season, and he's out again. Like I just, it just isn't great. All right, so for my injured player returning, Justin Jefferson. I'd say the best receiver in the league right now. I mean, he's he's just absolutely incredible. Definitely the most the most talented and skilled. I, mm-hmm. Best, maybe not because of Tyreek and his like okay. how many stats Speed, he has. Yeah, I'd say Tyreek is Tyreek's best stat wise. I'd say Jay Jettas is the best wide receiver. You know what I mean? Okay, that's fair. Um, just talent. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I think that. It's going to be different for him because you had Kirk Cousins there who was his QB. We had a great connection with, you know, Kirk got injured during uh, Justin Jefferson's time on IR. And now he's done for the season, unfortunate. And then they traded for Josh Dobbs at the trade deadline, played amazing for a few weeks. And then last week he threw four interceptions on the Monday night game. It was not all his fault. Still, it was not good. Okay. Four interceptions. Two were Addison, two were, were... It's against the Bears, though. It's okay, that's like, a good point. come on. I guess, but still, I don't know, man. He lost to the Bears. I don't. I don't hate Pastor. They should not sit him. I oh, absolutely not. I'm just saying he has a he had a bad game, and now it's just he doesn't feel invis, uh, invincible anymore. So there's that. Uh, just you know, it'll be exciting to see uh, for all the Minnesota fans, and I think really all the football fans out there to see. Jefferson coming off of IR and uh, just see one of the best talents in the game coming back. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So, what was I going to say? Um, Injured player coming off of IR soon. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I just, yeah. Um, Aaron Rodgers. That's what I wanted to talk about. That's, there's yeah. a lot to talk about know. there. So, he's going to come back in the next couple of weeks. They're expecting. I mean, there's a chance he might not because the Jets already have such a low chance of making the playoffs, if they're eliminated, then the Jets mm-hmm. might hold Aaron Rodgers and not risk him. I would say definitely. They definitely will. But it's all. I just wanted to mention how crazy it is that he's back. That injury mm-hmm. takes 
at least a year. It's always season yeah. ending. He's, the fact that he's back in four months doing yeah. some weird Joe it's Rogan, crazy. ayahuasca stuff. I don't know what he's doing, <laughs> but it, yeah. whatever he is, it, it's working. Yeah, I mean, to your point, that's for sure true. It's uh, Schefter tweeted earlier this week that his 21-day like return of practice plan or whatever, so he's now able to practice, but he's not you know fully cleared to play in a game for like at least a month in all realistic uh, situations. I just, I don't see him coming back this year. I'm going to be honest. I just, I, I love the heart. I love the desire to want to come back. I just don't, one, I think at that age of 40, which I think he's going to be uh, next month. And not only that, because like you're gonna you're at greater risk for damaging it even more at that age, but also I don't think the Jets are gonna be in a position where they're gonna like be competing for a playoff spot in the last week. It's possible that they will be. I just don't think they will be. I, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So the next thing we wanted to talk about is the playoffs and the wild cards. So right now, as it, like as it stands. The fir- the first seeds for the AFC would be the Ravens, Chiefs, Jaguars, and Dolphins. All the division winners, yep. Yeah, and then, yeah. And then um, for the NFC, it would be the Eagles, 49ers, Lions, and Falcons. Falcons is the one of those eight division winners we just mentioned who could very well miss the playoffs. I think the seven others will yeah. very, very likely be in. Yeah. Uh, let's start the Falcons, because that division is horrible. Yeah. Okay, and then for the wild cards... The main one, the ones in the AFC, there's a couple. So, Bengals are basically out at this point. They're not. That's not going to happen. The Bills are six and six. Broncos are six and five. Texans are six and five. Broncos on a streak. Texans playing really well right now. Yeah. Colts are six and five. Browns are seven and four. Steelers are seven and four. I'm having the Steelers stay in. With Matt Canada gone, their offense is so much better. Their defense is an absolute monster. I don't see them losing. Yeah, I think. Matt can uh, or sorry, uh, Mike Tomlin as their head coach too is yeah. a big thing to mention. I see the Browns. It could happen because the Browns. I mean, they, they're right. not playing yeah. Dorian, and Dorian Thompson Robinson is a rookie, not great. Mm-hmm. So, but their defense is amazing. So it could happen too. Colts. What are you thinking there? I think Browns out. I think Colts out. I think Texans in. Believe it or not, I, and I'd say Broncos could go either way. Bills, I think, are actually going to make it, which I'm surprised about. I mean, they're six and six right now, and it's not just bias that they're six and six, but their schedule down the stretch is a monster. They got so many tough teams that play, and they have like one of the hardest remaining schedules so in the whole NFL. Yeah, that's yeah. exactly what I'm saying. So I'm, I'm saying that Steelers, Texans, Broncos. Are you, are you with that? Steelers, Texans, Broncos. Yeah, I just feel like with Denver it could go either way. Yeah. Maybe Colts. I don't trust Maybe Denver. Browns. Me neither. Uh, I, I'd say Steelers, Texans, Broncos, or Browns could go either way. Okay. And then let's move on to NFC. Let's see this. So NFC, the wild cards right now are Cowboys, Seahawks, Vikings. Mm-hmm. And close to it are the Packers, the, the Bucks, or half a game Saints, um, Packers, and Rams. Yeah, Rams. I think... Packers, Rams, Saints all half okay. a game out, and then the Bucks another game behind. I, I think the Bucks have a good chance of making it. I think they can mm-hmm. definitely take Tampa. They, Not t- Tampa, Atlanta. I no. think I think they can overtake them. If if Atlanta fires Arthur Smith, they're making the playoffs. If they keep Arthur Smith, there's always a chance. It's possible, but my main issue with them is that they've won one game since September. I mean, all the they had three wins in September, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, they were three and one, I think. Yeah, so the fact is that they've gone one in six in their last seven games. So that's, that's that causes me not to believe in them. So I think Saints, Rams, Packers in the race, Vikings obviously in the picture right now. Conrad, who's your uh, NFC South winner right now? Right now, I would put Saints, but I think it could. I think it could be Falcons, Saints, Bucks. I think go either way. But I, I thinking about what you said. I think the Bucks are. I I agree with you. The Bucks are probably not going to make it. I wasn't thinking about that. And then for the actual wild cards, Cowboys hundred percent making it in. No question. Yep. Seahawks. I think they're making it in too. I agree. Vikings though. I I'm putting the Vikings over the Packers and the Rams. I agree. 
I love is inconsistent, and the Vikings, I think, overall, are a stronger team than the Rams. The Rams have good weapons, but Cooper Cup is not what he was last year or mm-hmm. the year before. And even though Puka is great, Matt Stafford, he's a solid game manager, but that's it. As of right now, I tend to agree with you. I have the Rams missing the playoffs. However, I would not be surprised to see them sneak in. I think out of all three of those, it's going to be probably the Rams, the Vikings. Mm-hmm. The Packers are too inconsistent to win. And Christian Watson, again, is not the same player we saw last year. Yeah. He's kind of like a Damian Pierce. Yeah, I think that's a good point. Um, yeah, I think NFC South-wise could go Falcons, could go Saints, toss up there. And then whoever doesn't get in probably misses the playoffs because Cowboys and Seahawks and Vikings and maybe Rams. But, yeah, I think there's going to be one team from that uh, division who's going to make the playoffs. So it'll be whoever wins it, obviously. So. Yeah. Yeah. Saints. Yeah, it could go either way. Yeah. Well, that sh- yeah. short it's had, episode. It's had to be short because I have to wake up at 3 tomorrow and I don't want to miss my flight. Mm-hmm. So, thanks for watching. Hey. Subscribe to my boy. Yep. And if we get snow, Drew's doing a sled video. Oh, we are doing a sled okay. video. Okay, we are sure. doing a sled video. All right, thanks for watching.